Today on my Adiaka brand journey, I'll be talking to Mr. Tatsuya Matsui of Flower Robotics, which is a design and a robot firm based in the very trendy Daikanyama area of Tokyo. When I was a kid, I loved creating things. I wanted to create a world of things that did not yet exist. I was always wondering, what is between real space and network? And that's what led me to robotics and artificial intelligence. Of course, a robot only thinks within this world of informatics. But there is a further dimension, because a robot has a body and communicates with people. This fascinated me. How do you think about the relation between design and functionality? Well, first, there is, of course, our philosophy. We'd like to build robots that really do enter people's everyday lives. In a way, robots that actually take part in society, if you like. Then comes the functionality. If our robot is a mannequin that will be in a shop window, for example, then I think, OK, it has to look like a pretty young girl. And that leads us to the design. From there, we reduce things more and more so that we have the most simple and minimalist shape. Then, when everything is so beautifully simple, you have the genuine beauty, which is aesthetics. Why did you create Posey? The most important thing is the concept. We want to create products that make people happy. And Posey represents that, as she's a symbol of our objective. I thought about a wedding flower girl, because here we have these young girls that spread flowers at weddings. I wanted to make one as a robot, and that's who Posey is. She was our first robot, and somehow she always stays in the middle of us. Our little Posey. What's the story about Polaris? There's a difference between just getting data from a computer or getting it from a three-dimensional object that moves. It's all to do with human perception. Polaris is a system that combines the mobile phone and the TV. Polaris analyzes the information and then provides interesting data, such as information about your health. If people could imagine that they would wake up and think life feels good, if a robot could generate feelings of happiness with the consumer, well, then it would be, it would be super, it would be wonderful. Is manufacturing in the 21st century different from that in the past? Well, simply creating things, that's not enough. There are questions like, what is the meaning of life? Or what is important for people? And I think it's vital that you think about these issues. I really think that they will be the fundamental concept for craftsmen in the future. After meeting Mr. Matsui from Flower Robotics, what I find so interesting is that he's uh, kind of crafting himself as a visionary and entrepreneur who's creating a new field of robotics, uh, you know, not just trying to come up with interesting designs or prototypes, but actually wants to create an industry. An interesting hybrid between the old style of, of Japanese kind of apprenticing uh, on top guys and then moving on to your own later and then also this kind of radical entrepreneurialism too. So I think he's an interesting uh, character to look at in the future.